Well, guys, we are back with Euphoria Season 2, Episode 3. Ruminations, Big and Little Bullies. This was a really good episode. Really good. Every episode for me is getting better. I think your favorite one is still the first one? Still the first one. This is probably second. Okay, so better than last week's. Yeah. And I think there was a lot of elements that happened in here, so let's get straight into it. Again, this is full spoilers. We are going to spoil the episode. We're not going to talk every single plot point. We're probably going to forget something. But that's where the comment section is, guys. Make sure to leave a comment. Let us know your guys' thoughts on this episode. As well, if you also love Euphoria or in general you just love movies and TV, hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking movies and TV over here on a daily basis because that's what we do over here. Yep. I do it. You sometimes join me. <laughs> and guys, Euphoria, let's dump into this. Overall episodes and thoughts, I thought this was a really strong episode. The opening, though, with Cal. What do you think? Let's start with that opening. We get a little bit more depth into Cal. It was good. Okay. I... Do you care more about him? Not really. No? I will say, some of the best musical soundtrack that they've done yet. I loved all the musical choices they did. And it made me want to see Sam Levinson do a coming-of-age drama or something in that era. Yeah. So, but... I think Euphoria always has really good... Oh, yeah, all the time. Really good soundtrack. So, but Cal, we knew it was going to happen, obviously, with that friendship. But we don't know what happened after that. Yeah. Where'd the guy go? Do we just assume he left and that was it? Is... I think he just went to college. Lived and that's life. what I assume, but... There's some meat still to be, you know, touched on. <laughs> <laughs> the meat to be seen. <laughs> but, but you know what I mean? There's still some elements in there that I feel like were still questions. Yeah. And I feel like later in the season, we're going to learn a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. Because as it was building up, we knew where it was going to go. The second they went to that bar, we knew. Yeah. Like, that, that was the way it. he would the, look at him. Exactly. And you knew it was both back and forth and even when the girl was like going on him you felt that hesitation from him not because it's not like he didn't want to be with her he didn't he wanted to be with his friend yeah and those are the elements in there so i guess on the terms of cal like how we like to do these episode reviews we like to go by character by character and this week we can actually mix cal with fezco and ashtray <laughs> which was an awesome scene because of course the girl goes outside throws the trash and sees him watching them and your favorite character, Ash, goes out there with the shotgun and tells him, get the fuck out of the car. Yeah. They go in, and Ash beats the shit out of Cal. Which he deserves. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> just like how Fezco beat the shit out of his son, yeah. Ash straight just boom, 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 which was just great. Um, so what was your thoughts on there that now Cal knows his son was lying? That they don't have the tape. I'm glad that came out. I'm glad it wasn't because, lingering for yeah. a bit. Like... I'm glad it wasn't like, oh, I'm just going to stalk them for like five episodes. Right. Most shows would have Cal watching them for half the season. And then there's some big event that folds mm -hmm. out of it. But for something like this, where we knew the outcome was going to be, Fezco's like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking <laughs> about, man. You know? And that's what well, he, he pretty much... No, he didn't. He goes, I'm just here to make money and protect my family. Like, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you want. And I thought that was great. It was great when Ash was just beating... And they got news of what was happening. Mm hmm but now, when Cal opened up, I think deep down he was also like, fuck, now they know. I mean, it's not like they can go to the cops, you know, because they sell drugs. Like, I mean, they don't care. They don't. They don't care as enough. As long as he leaves them Jules alone. Jules and Rue alone, mm -hmm. which was interesting. Now, I do want to hold out on talking about Rue, Jules, and Elliot, because I feel like they were pretty much the big central focus of this episode, mm -hmm. which was nice. I, I would say out of, for this episode in particular, or this season so far, I feel like Rue hasn't had that much yet to do. And this was the first episode where it feels like it was more focused on her. Where I feel like in the first season, while it was all balanced, Rue was always the main character. This season, it feels like they're really focusing on everyone. Yeah. And this was the first episode I thought they dove into that a little bit more. So I'm going to save that for a second. Let's talk about Maddie next. And I can't remember her boy's name, boyfriend's name. Do you remember? Not Maddie. Cat, um, Cat, Cat, Cat. Kat uh, and, uh, I, don't know his name. I don't know the other guy's name either, but Kat and her boyfriend, boyfriend tries out for, um, the play, the play by Lexi and Kat could give one shit. Yeah. Um, which, well, we, we know she is not super into No. Him. And that's where another thing I kind of wish they would have moved that storyline just a little bit more. I, I understand they only got an hour to deal with stuff, but that was a storyline that like they opened up, but I know, I know will come eventually later down the road. Which, I guess now let's talk about Lexi. He tried out for the play, got the part. 
I like Maude Apatow's like entire performance as Lexi, and I think Lexi is actually becoming one of my more favorite characters this entire season. And something that someone mentioned last week, I actually forgot to tell you the comment. Remember how you and me were kind of like bitching that like Lexi like led him there? Well, he also said and threatened that he was looking at their phones. So that's another reason why she didn't text or call him. So I kind of understand that perspective. So shout out to the person that said that. We we appreciate that. We do read the comments. And so. she went into the store before yeah. he got there, so she still could have told him. Exactly. Hey. So so there you go. I guess so. she wins on there. But I do like that she's kind of doing this play. I have a feeling now I want to ask you, will this play be in the next episode, or do you think it'll be something coming later down the season? Because obviously Cassie's going to see that and not be happy. And I feel like this is going to very much divide people. I feel like that'll be towards the end. Like the uh, finale, couple, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like it's going to touch on, a, on their lives. Mm -hmm. so. Which they might... Well, especially Cassie's not mm -hmm. going to like, which I guess speaking about Cassie, bitch fucking around right now. Um, and there was one Cass part, and I, I know everyone else did it. We did it. We're, they're in the bathroom, and Rue and Lexi are talking, and then Cassie comes in looking like fucking Oklahoma. <laughs> and they get in this whole argument, and then the rest of the crew comes in, Cat, Maddie, and they're like, why well, are you trying out for it? And for a second... I thought she actually said it all. Yeah. Where she like Which internally, out. you know she wanted to. And I'm wondering, did anyone else fall for that? Like, was it just us two? Because we were both got up out of our seats. I was seat. just excited to see yeah. Maddie beat her ass already. So. Exactly. <laughs> because that's what I was waiting for. I was like, what's Maddie? Mm -hmm. Ah, damn it. She's just looking at me. I think mirror. we should have known that it wasn't real. Because Maddie would have cut her like, off, I think. Yeah, exactly. Like, Maddie would have jumped right, in. Well... <sighs> Even though, because I know we saw that thing of when Maddie was hitting the fucking uh, girl in the head with the, the door. For me, though, with Maddie, I feel like since Cassie, she might be so shocked, she doesn't know what to do. But I, we both know they're going to fight, right? Yeah. You think Maddie wins? Yeah. Yeah. Now, my question is, because obviously the episode ends with Nate ditching Cassie. Because when I saw the flowers, I'm like, oh, that, that's sweet. Did you know right away that he's going to Maddie? Oh, yeah. Okay. I yeah. thought that's sweet. No, it's he's going to Maddie. I mean, he's never shown a gesture like that to kid. No. So, I mean, like... So, then he goes to Maddie, gives her the flowers. We assume they're probably going to have sex, and they're back together. Which next episode that's going to open up and it's going to be like, fuck. And that's going to break Cassie's heart, which my question is, does she still sleep behind Maddie's back? Do they still If she cheat? gets the chance, yes. Okay. Do you think Nate will, or do you think he's a changed boy? He's not changed. He's Nate. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, intense shit on there. I guess the last three characters to talk about now is Zendaya, Jules, and of course... Which, does it bother you that the subtitles have Jules spelled differently? Well, they spell it different when they just say Jewel. Okay. I never recognized that. Say, okay. I mean... Yeah. I didn't notice that they say Jules. Oh, but it, when it, they say Jewel, it does come Oh, it does? Jewel. Okay. So we got Zendaya, Jules, and Elliot to talk about, which you and me were talking about this. Elliot is absolutely becoming one of our favorite characters this he's season. He's amazing. He's so great. I love when Zendaya and uh, Hunter Schaefer were talking about it on that little, like, bridge thing. Mm -hmm. And then they, and then she goes, go interrogate him. And then she's interrogating him. And I like Jules and Elliot kind of having this friendship kind of form. They have a good vibe. And Elliot's flat straight up with her. Yeah. I have a crush on her. But she's not that type of person. Like, she loves you. Like, stuff, stuff like that. But we all know what Rue likes more than any person in the entire world, which we'll talk about. But I, I really like this relationship. I love the Truth and Dare segment because you and me were busting <laughs> up when they dared Elliot to go do yeah. the scat thing and then almost get his ass beat. There's so much fun aspects in there. And I do like when we get these moments for them to just hang out. Yeah, because so. it's like high school. Yeah, They're exactly. still in high school. So. Exactly. And I think that's what we forget. But one thing. <laughs> Fucking Rue, man. She tries to pitch her idea to Fez, and what's Fez tell her? Nah, man. <laughs> Hell, no. Hell no. Like, he's not stupid. And then, I think deep down, I don't know if you knew it, did you know she was going to go to the teacher? Yeah. Okay, I yeah, did I too. I mean, who else would she go to? That's what I was saying. I was like, fuck, she's going to go to the teacher. <laughs> and she goes to the teacher. Well, first she tells Elliot her idea, and Elliot's like, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what the fuck her idea is. It doesn't even matter what her idea is. Because whatever she was explaining to the teacher, it was just like, oh, these smart girls sell drugs. That's yeah. that's the idea. And it's it's dumb because it's not gonna work. Yeah. So I mean Ru these girls don't even exist. Yeah, and, and <laughs> it's, thankfully it's and thankfully and, and Rue does not have a fucking what, a three point seven five GPA. There's no way she has a three point seven five GPA. Yeah. Um adding in, she gets the drugs. And I love how she offered her 
50k. She goes, <laughs> hey, can we start a little bit lower? I think 10K. she was a little smart on that part. Yeah. Takes the drugs, and she goes to the fucking AA meeting, which, for a second, I thought, is she gonna sell it to the people there? Because we've seen that happen before in shows yeah. and movies. Doesn't happen. Then she gets in an argument with Coleman go, uh, Coleman Demi- Coleman Domingo, which she went for the fucking cut. Yeah. Which, that pissed me off, because he's just trying to help. But she's an addict. And, but you know what's gonna happen? She's gonna need his fucking help. I'm telling you right now, they that teacher- low blows. It's gonna- I think it's really going to... So this is what I'm kind of liking is that conflicts are starting to build. We obviously know that teacher threatened Rue. Mm-hmm. And we know someone's going to have to help Rue out. Is it going to be Fez or is it going to be him? Both. Both. That That's kind of what I'm thinking. I think it's really going to come down to... I don't even think that... We're talking about what character is going to die this season. I think the teacher dies. That group right there might die. You know, you never know. I mean... Rue is a part of their family, but we know she's going to do all those drugs. She ain't going to sell a fucking single thing, and she's going to be fucked. It's giving me Friday vibes when Smokey... Exactly! <laughs> Smokey <laughs> does all the big worms yeah. drugs instead well, of selling them. That's what he's going to do, and <laughs> that's kind of where the episode ends with her. The mm-hmm. only other thing we didn't talk about was Rue and her sister kind of having that conversation, and Zendaya kills it in her monologues when she's like, how to get away with doing drugs, Yeah, which we can't trust her because... She's a drug addict. So, mm-hmm. of course, a drug addict would say that sorts of stuff and think it would work. So, overall, I really like this episode. I know you did as well. I loved it. I would give it, like, an 8.5 out of 10 right now. Maybe a 9. I'd um, say a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I think, for me, soundtrack's great. Acting's great. I love all of these characters are moving forward. Do, is this... It's 10 episodes, right? I believe so. Hopefully. I know. What's I don't up? want it to end. No, same. <laughs> we waited so goddamn long for this last... Up, for the whole season. So, let's mm-hmm. go look. Eight. Eight. Damn. Mm. Mm. Next week's the halfway mark, so... Hopefully something good happens. Fingers crossed. But other all, guys, thank you so much again for watching this. Again, comment down below your guys' thoughts, theories, all sorts of things like that. Do you have any theories for next week? No. Do you think anything big's gonna finally I just, happen? I hope so. I, I actually gut feeling right now, I think Cassie tells Maddie. Or they get an argument or something blows up at the very end of the episode. I think something blows up. I don't think she... Tells her. I think Maddie tells Cassie, hey, Nate came over again. Yeah, but I think that's where that... I think at the very end of the episode, yeah. she's going to blow up and tell Maddie, I'm fucking him. Or something of that nature. I don't, I don't know. know. There's so much stressfulness. <laughs> I'm sweating from my shirt. I got my cool little pouch right there. <laughs> you guys can see Rocco in my pocket. But again, thank you so much for watching this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below, and we'll see you guys next week.